those making profit while our children's education suffers. We also have TCAT, the Academy, who creams off who takes £176,000 a year to run the academy. They tell us that there's no money for the staffing to support the pupils, but yet they gave their chief executive an £11,000 rise last year, taking their wages, taking their wages to £165,000. Something, something that would pay for four or five teachers or ten support staff. They say they've got no money, but there's £7.8 million in the bank. We demand that that money belongs to the taxpayers of Crawley for the education of our children. We want to see an end to privatisation, profiteering out of education. We want to see every school brought back into democratic, accountable child control run by the councils so that if you don't like them, you get to kick them out whereas you have no say whatsoever over the academy. Yes. We want to see the PFI debts cancelled which are crippling our schools and our hospitals whilst people make billions in profit. Today's demonstration has been organised by the staff, the community and the parents standing in defence and our next speaker is the shop steward for the school. Alex has been leading the campaign in the school as an English teacher in the school standing in defence and his position is clear. He's going nowhere other than to stand and fight for the education of your children. Alex. Council, I'll tell you, nothing to do with it, it's an academy chain. You need to speak to the Regional Schools Commissioner. You go to the Regional Schools Commissioner, you are told the Regional Schools Commissioner has no authority over academy chains. <laughs> they have taken away your power from you and you need now to take it back. I'm going nowhere, I'm staying at the school as head of the English Department, I'm staying to be shop steward of my union and I'm staying until they are gone. You're now going to hear today from a number of people out of school, from teachers, from students, to tell you what it is like. It is important that you keep on fighting. You'll be told nonsense by these private companies. You'll be told that it's a separate issue that the CEO makes £165,000 a year, 30 grand more than the Prime Minister. That's a separate issue from educational sort of, you know, um, funding for special educational needs. It is not. There is no separate pot of money. It's a myth. Funding works like this. You get money per student. If you take a little separate pot of money, and put it aside. That's your invention. Our problem is the fact that there is a separate pot of money in your eyes. You're going to hear from different people today telling you why this is wrong. Please continue your campaign. Your fight is right. We've got pledge cards of people not yet signed up to our campaign. Remember, this is the start of our fight. We need to keep on going. Thank you for coming today. Terry. Thank you for coming today. It is imperative that we take the fight to the Regional Schools Commissioner and make sure our children receive the education they deserve. The cuts at Thomas Bennett will not be the first cuts. We need to take a stand now. Make sure you are, go to the community table, pick up leaflets, contact everyone. Ask to meet face to face with Henry Smith. He should be supporting the campaign and I can't see him here today. Yeah. He needs to care about our children's education. Yeah. Please join the fight and make sure we are not silenced and we are heard. Yeah. Thank you for your time today. The next speaker is a brave speaker who knows that the services that he needs and desires are being hit most. Next up is Elliot. Yay! Elliot. Elliot's uh, not well, I'm afraid. Jake, are you going to come up? Or oh, Jake's mum, goodness. Hi, I'm Mrs. Farmer, Jake's mum, um, and he wrote a speech for everyone. 
<laughs> I think that what is happening to Thomas Bennett is unacceptable. Me being a student of the base and fearing for my education is not a thing that should be happening in one of Fawley's top schools. Why cut the things that are needed most? TAs in the base and the link will most likely be cut, which could be ca catastrophic for the people who need their help. What makes me even more scared is that the base um, and the link have too many teachers taken away from them, they will be closed. If this happens, I will have nowhere to go if my troubles at school or with work or with my mental health issues. There are also many students who are part of the base which would suffer from the loss of TAs, whose names I will not mention, who have much more difficulties with learning and education. Recently I have learnt that the base shall be moving to the ark next to the base and the link will move to the base room. I found this utterly useless. Why not use the, move the link to the ark instead? Me being one, I think I could say for most of the people on the spectrum, we have problems with change, which is why I think the link should move to the ark instead of the base and the base should stay where it is. This makes me extremely upset that the school and the choices of, and poor choices of actions that are happening. Yay! Yay! Brilliant speech from Jake, one of the pupils at the school. Woo! Jake's service will suffer. Six out of seven SEN teachers are to be cut. Five of the specialist support staff to be cut. This is why it's so important for the likes of Jake's future and the future of other children in Crawley. Thank you, Jake. <laughs> The next speaker, there was a head teacher from another school who wanted to speak. I've forgotten his name when he spoke to me earlier this morning. Graham. Graham.